behind us. Oh, I think that's not good. All right, so <laughs> right at the top, and you can, I, I used to take, because I used to do, um, I used to be a tour guide before lockdown, and uh, so I used to take people up there, but I could only take them during the day, at week, during the weekday, and there'd be no security around the uh, lift, so I just sneak <laughs> in and take them straight up, and we'd just go and have a cup of tea, that's it. <laughs> we go to this restaurant up there, where, you know, like, just to look at the menu, it would be like 20 quid. Um, and all, we, we just order like a pot of tea, and we'll just uh, sit around here, <laughs> bring our hands on it, yeah. <laughs> so, but then the lockdown happened, and they just stopped all that, so I haven't been up there since then. But yeah, yeah, definitely worth it, by the way. If you can, if you walk into the, uh, the Shangri-La, as if you're a resident there, you know, just walk straight in, straight to the lift, and don't look anywhere. There's a good chance they won't spot that door. You know, belong there, and then you can just go straight to the 54th floor. I think it's you, on the button you press the gong, or what it is, and it'll take you up there. It's awesome. And it's five pounds for what it was, uh, for like a pot of tea. Um, so we just buy one. So I do loads of relatives. I do loads of relatives there. <laughs> <laughs> loads of relatives, and there'll be like one pot of tea between like five of my cousins. <laughs> so uh, yeah. yeah, back to the hating white people, right? <laughs> yeah, because you know, I, because I could hear, I could, I could see that you guys were like, why does he hate white people, right? You know, there's got to be a reason, right? And uh, no, it's not white people I hate. It's white comedians, right? Because I mean, it's, 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 uh, white comedians, they write their notes on the back of their hands. Like, he, he, he's not really that. Cause, cause I, I tried that, and I couldn't read it back. <laughs> because I can't read um, my own handwriting. So, what I do is I write my notes on a piece of paper. It's a white piece of paper because I am racist. Um, and because I'm a successful comedian, it's just written on the back of a, a letter from the bank, uh, giving me my credit card. Do you see that? That's how successful I am, right? I think I know that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Just zoom in on that film. <laughs> no, I've changed it. I've changed it, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this is my set here. Uh, basically, I go through it. So I've done the uh, Hey Whites, uh, fluff up. Yeah, so I just, uh, um, I've recently decided to come out of the closet. So, any, anybody, anybody here part of the LGBT? You are, yeah? Oh, brilliant, wow. High five, right? Yeah. So I've just come out of the closet as, uh, as Indian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what that means. It means um, I had an arranged marriage. <laughs> do you guys understand arranged marriages? Yeah. Oh, you do, right? It means that I'm so shit at chatting up women right, that my mum had to stop here. <laughs> also, being Indian, you know, I work in IT. Um, I don't know if you know what that means. It means that even though I'm married, I'm still a virgin. Because <laughs> uh, I'm so shit at sex. Uh, that my dad had to step in. <laughs> I'm joking. It was my uncle. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if you know, but in a traditional Indian wedding, you end up with two wives. Did you guys know that? One's a woman I'm married, the other her mother. <laughs> I didn't know either of them. I met them both at the same time, arranged marriage, and neither would sleep with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Indian weddings are long, right? Well, my wedding was so long that by the end of it, we were seeing other people. <laughs> I had one of those mixed race marriages, you know, because I'm from the very north of India, and she was fucking mental. <laughs> uh, but she, she's half Indian, half Scottish, because um, she loved curry. <laughs> Deep fried. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, so I haven't been on stage much as like Peter because of the lockdown, thanks to the lockdown, right? And so my notes are here. <laughs> Every now and then, probably most of the time, you'll see me staring down at me. It's uh, because I haven't learned my lines yet. <laughs> so they're just there. Um, so for this joke, um, my parents still live, live, live in India, right? Well, yeah, as I said. 
Uh, and then they still work, you know, very, very traditionally, just like their parents and their grandparents uh, in, in a cool center. <laughs> <laughs> just, just outside of Birmingham. <laughs> South of Birmingham. I, I don't know if you guys know, but Birmingham has been reclaimed and it's part of India now. <laughs> the British didn't really put up a fight, they were like, take it. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to Birmingham, you know, we, we call it the motherland. <laughs> you know, we, we do pilgrims, uh, Indians from all over the world, go to Birmingham for the authentic Indian experience. <laughs> in, like, in fact, Indians go to, to, to Birmingham. I'm, I'm not even joking, but when I get relatives coming here, I take them to Birmingham. Uh, and they go, wow, finally India. <laughs> so so you, you guys are from Kent, right? Yeah. right? But where are you originally from? <laughs> I mean, where are you from? You know, like originally, originally. Kent from. people are already from Kent. Ah, <laughs> it right. doesn't go any deeper. It doesn't go any deeper, right? No. But where are you, like, if you went back 30,000 years, 50,000 years, where are you originally, originally from? India. <laughs> You're originally, originally from Africa, uh, all of you, and I've got some really bad news for all the white people here. Uh, at a certain time in history, all your ancestors were all black. Uh, they were all from Ethiopia. So uh, I, 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 don't, I, um, I did the joke badly, I think. Um, <laughs> I did a show, right? That's a shocking fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I did a show in, um, where was it? In, in Edinburgh some years ago now. And there was this woman sitting right in the middle, right, right in the middle of everybody else. And she was from Norwich. Wow. So I kept asking her, right? I said, well, where are you originally from? And she goes, Norwich. I said, well, well where are your ancestors from? You went back like 30,000 years. She goes, Norwich! We've always been from Norwich! You know that? She was so angry, right? And then I said, well, I've got bad news for you. Your ancestors were black, right? And she just stared at me like I've just, you know, shattered her world. And so for, the, for the rest of the show, she didn't laugh, she didn't do anything, she just stared at me. Like, every time I, my eyes went across, all I could see was her sitting there, like a stone, just watching me. You know, like, I was like, she's going to murder me out of this. <laughs> this is, that was how big. Although, I know the Swedish people here don't have a problem with this, but do anybody here hate the, the cold? The cold? Yeah, the cold. Right, you guys hate the cold. The Swedish, they love the cold, right? What's the cold? The cold. cold. You know, like cold, cold weather. Cold. Yeah. No. You don't? <laughs> it's always cold in Sweden. Yes. Yeah, so you must be used to it. Yeah, we used to it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. If you don't like it, right. Yeah, but I've got some really good news for you if you hate the cold. Uh, the answer is cold showers. Mm -hmm. uh, once you have a cold shower, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, uh, you won't feel the cold for the rest of the day. Uh, I, I do cold showers, but I did last year anyway. Uh, and I, I'm Indian, right? And I'm not that well endowed down there. Um, <laughs> but, you know, but after five minutes in a cold shower, it shrinks so much uh, that it turns into a vagina. <laughs> Which is why I'm in there for 15 minutes. So. <laughs> anybody, anybody here on uh, any kind of diet? No? Any, nobody? Well, I'm on a diet, as you can probably tell. Right? I'm on a keto diet. You guys heard of it? Uh, it's known as a zero carb diet. Uh, my friends call it a zero personality. <laughs> <laughs> my doctor calls it cocaine. <laughs> so, I mean, do that, sorry, do that, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, he's in prison now. Uh, any, any drug dealers here? <laughs> just just because, you know, I'm running out of supplies. Uh, that joke, by the way, was written by Peter. <laughs> The zero uh, personality bit. Yeah, the zero personality <laughs> I'll take credit for that. Uh, do you guys have heard of the uh, alcohol rating system? No. You know where uh, a guy looks at a woman, right? I'm just going to pick on you because you're from Kent. Um, and uh, you're in the middle, right? Um, but you know where a guy looks at a woman and he goes, um, oh, she's a six man. You're not, right? But, you know, guys do that, right? You do that, right? Come on, you know this, right? The guys do that, right? They'll, they'll look at a woman and go, she's a six pound or eight pound or whatever, right? They'll do that, right? But women do the same thing. Women do the same. They'll, they'll, they'll look at a guy and go, oh, he's about 
six glasses of wine. Probably, right? Probably, right? <laughs> well, it turns out, it turns out that system also works on comedians. So if you don't find a comedian funny, right? It's because you just haven't drunk enough. <laughs> so basically it's your fault. <laughs> so for example, Michael McIntyre, he's been rated one glass of shandy. <laughs> yeah, I've been rated at 16 pints <laughs> of tea. <laughs> but you know, on a sexual attraction scale, I've got some gay friends, I know, so modern, right? And, and they rate me at eight glasses of wine. But women, and I'm sure these ladies here will agree, they rate me yeah. at a really low four bottles of champagne. Uh, which, which must be right, because that's what I used to get my wife into bed. Because <laughs> she had massive problems sleeping uh, with me. <laughs> but you know, I googled it, did my research, uh, we got to find a solution. I got divorced, because <laughs> I found out hookers were cheaper. Anybody here into the yeah. you? It's because you guys are in the middle. And all I can see is you guys there. So every time I look at you guys, I just. We said hand. we are the front row, but yeah. we <laughs> See, they've put themselves up yeah, in the corner. <laughs> and also, they're from Lebanon. I mean, what am I going to do? But <laughs> like, you guys, I could abuse you. <laughs> so the cows come home, right? But yeah. These guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Anybody into fet fetishes, by the way? Anybody? Yeah, John. Yeah, John. Yeah, hey! Go on, John, tell us. He's funny clock. What's that? Oh, no. no. <laughs> 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 so, do you have a fetish, right? Anybody else have any fetish? He doesn't fetish? not have any fetish, if that makes sense. I'd say you have all fetishes. Is that okay? He's long as I sleep with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, I, 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 I said she's just, just someone to sleep with. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's very grieving, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Does it require a fuss? Or is that pushing the bar too high, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, 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 I am so hot, right? I don't have a fetish, but I am so hot that I'm actually a fetish. Right? <laughs> Uh, for men in uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm going through security, you know, like I see, I, I can, you know, hear buttons popping. <laughs> so I'm like a properly turned one. Uh, it must be my my good looks and charm, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Because right? I was going through Miami Airport like a couple of years ago before lockdown, and um, there was a spring in my step because I got through customs quite quickly. I was like, whoa, that's really good, right? And then one of the security guards or the customs guards saw me. And he started beelining for me, right? And he was started putting these, like, you know those surgical gloves, those blue surgical gloves? He started slowly putting them on as he's crossing my path, right? And I'm watching this, right? And then my brain doesn't connect it. And it's like, what's he with the gloves? You know, like, it didn't connect at all. And then he stopped me and he had the best child line, right? Ladies, you will not be able to resist it. He said, excuse me, sir. You randomly <laughs> 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 Random number generator. <laughs> <laughs> Took three hours, yeah? Three hours. I mean, he rushed it, I think. <laughs> I wish, you know, he'd slowed it down a bit. You know, maybe he had a glass of wine before. Him, you know, because, because it was intimate. <coughs> properly intimate. But, you know, it, it felt like a third date. <laughs> he took my number, everything, right? Uh, didn't text me afterwards. I thought we'd made a connection. I'm not gay, but I thought, you know, we connected at a deep and intimate level. Uh, it was it was closer than I've been with any woman. <laughs> uh, anybody here taking cocaine? <laughs> not so much. Not tonight. Not tonight. Oh, right? Kent, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Cambridge uh, Wells would be a hotbed for cocaine <laughs> the drug dealers, right? Yeah. What, what about in Lebanon? Is there a the huge scene? Uh, oh, is it? It's, it's one of the money one I've come to. Oh, is it? Yeah, I guess. Few people. All right, but isn't it like a, a massive uh, crime thing? You know, don't you get hanged or shot or something? Uh, no, no, it's, uh, there's no, there's no law. Yeah. It's, it's the wild bust. Yeah. So, Lebanon. We, we're a major exporter of uh, yeah. cannabis. Yeah. 
Oh, so <laughs> like, I'm, uh, so it's like uh, going to Amsterdam. Lebanon is Amsterdam. Okay, I'm going to Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming with me? Like to die? <laughs> <laughs> well, why, what's happening there? Oh, other than, there yeah? um, it's a vault, fires. Oh, um, strike damn it. Was, you wouldn't ruin it, would you? No electricity <laughs> or hot water. Sorry? No electricity or hot water. Oh, well, but you got cannabis. Right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, who cares, right, about hot water? Because it's warm there anyway, right? So you don't need to worry about that. Storms currently? Okay. You're not selling it. Yeah. It's the why you're here, not there. All oh, right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, so, so you, you guys are taking cocaine. You guys probably. But what about Sweden? <laughs> Sweden must be a hotbed for cocaine. Come on, don't lie to me. Is it? Could have happened. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> but you guys are taking it, right? There's no cameras here, nobody's recording this. Well, apart from that. <laughs> 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 but, so I, I, I was in Florida at uh, West Palm Beach, right? And uh, I went and uh, my mate took me to a party. And there was no alcohol at this party. I was like, what the hell, right? But there was this long wooden table, right? And it had loads of white lines. Loads. And everybody was going up and taking two, three lines. And uh, so I didn't want to be a party people, so I went up and did three lines as well. Uh, so it turns out, if you've never taken cocaine before, three lines is too many. I miss you in those, like, big time. They, they had marijuana as well. And I don't know if you guys know, but if you take marijuana and mix it with any other drug, it accelerates and amplifies the effects of it, like, massively. Uh, so I've put myself in hospital a couple of times doing that. Uh, just don't mix. Yeah, so anyway, you know, uh, I spent that 15 hours high as a kite and, and like properly trying to control myself and, and videoing myself. Um, I thought it'd be funny in fact. It, just, it was just me making faces of the camera. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was painful. <laughs> Doing that again. Uh, anybody here? Uh, so I, I don't know if you can tell from my accent. I've been privately educated. Uh, and any other? You have as well. Oh, brilliant. There you go. See. But shall I high fiber again? And then there's a point. There. <laughs> so yeah. So I've, um, I've been privately educated. Uh, any other posh class? <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Grammar okay. schools. Yes, yeah. yeah but I didn't know grammar schools was uh, private. Uh, do, do, do your parents ever pay your work? No, it's uh, free, they're just smarter. Oh, right, okay, they're just posh. That's like a failure cool. school and a success school, you know? Ah, uh, and all of you are in the success school, right? Apart from that. Apart? Oh, I see, that's what you're saying in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. fair enough, right. So I, I did this joke in uh, Oxford, right? And even the bar stuff will put their hands up. <laughs> <laughs> in, Slough, in Slough, I don't know if you guys know about oh, Slough. Oh, I thought that was going on there. Yeah. In Slough, I had to explain to them <laughs> what a school was. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you heard of this self-identifying movement, did you know uh, Jordan Peterson, the uh, Canadian professor? He fought against the Canadian government, which was compelling people by law, that you have to uh, address people uh, the way they want to be addressed. You know, like for example, uh, if you want to be, if you self-identify as a cat, for example, uh, I would legally have to uh, address you as a cunt. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a pussy, sorry, as a pussy. Damn it, I thought my joke's a long way around there. Um, and, you know, if you wanted to, uh, well, I'm going to pick on you now, but if you wanted to be self-identified as a Tory, legally I'd have to or your camp, but you know, <laughs> I, I, I actually believe in that movement. I think it's great because I, I self identify as, as white. Um, so, but for the privilege, yeah? But I have, and I've been self identifying as white for like a couple of weeks now. And you know this hashtag Black Lives Matter? It's all bullshit, right? <laughs> I tell you, a more useful one, a more urgent one is white lives matter even more, right? Because since I've been identifying as white, I've started suffering from depression, right? Because, <laughs> like, everybody ignores me. 
It's ridiculous, right? I walk into W. S. Smith's, the security guard just ignores me. Right? I'm like, hey, I'm in here. I through security, no, nobody touches me. I don't know what's going on, right? And this is why you guys suffer. This is why white people need antidepressants, right? because they don't get touched enough. <laughs> right? Us brown people and black people, you know, we get touched on a lot. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's like we get we get a daily dose of uh, physical uh, affection uh, from the security guard. Um, but, but you guys suffer. So I'm on at the moment. I'm on antidepressants because I'm I'm in self identifying as white. You know, it's, it's ridiculous, right? So, so if you guys can just you know use that hashtag White Lives Matter even more. We can make this popular, and we can then stamp out this this mistreatment of white people by security guards. You know, maybe they maybe they think you're lower class or something. You know, they, you're you're dirty, and they don't want to touch you. I don't know, right? It's got to be something about that, right? To understand it, um, I, I, I'm actually from the Punjab, right? And and, and it's a bit like the Punjab is north Wales and uh, north of um, India, right? And it's a bit like Wales. But rather than sheep, we got a lot of uh, snakes, and they have a lot of other fish. <laughs> I know, because you know, I used to live in Wales. Uh, but, but they get great blowjobs, yeah. and they swallow, which is nice. You know, I hate clearing up after myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so a few years ago, I took a show uh, to uh, to Edinburgh. And I did it for a charity, an orphanage in India. Uh, and I managed to, this is actually true, and I managed to raise, people can verify it, uh, and I managed to raise 2,000 pounds for this charity, and they used it to buy hospital equipment. That's good, right? Yeah. And for, yeah. No, no, this, so that's generally true. And so for every 100 pounds I raised, it fed, clothed, and educated one child for one year. That's awesome, right? More than me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so next year, I'm sending my kids there. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, they're already there. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I haven't got any kids. Uh, that social service is nowhere. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, I'll leave you with this. I'm going to leave you some proper life advice. Right? There's this bit funny. This is like proper life advice. Don't. Don't die a virgin, because there are terrors waiting for you out there. <laughs> 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 he laughed the loudest. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the person experience. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what that's? Uh, what time is it? Uh, it is 9.33, yeah, so it's Oh, about brilliant, now, yeah. look at that. The timing is amazing. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Can I have a massive round of applause for Peter? Thank you. Woo! Big round of applause for uh, uh, Kent. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Right, well, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, so this is part of, sort of, part of the ball festival. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly how, but it is, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, I hope you had a good, good time. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening, and if you want to follow us, uh, we're on uh, social media, yeah. topical, yeah. Facebook, whatever you know, <laughs> how do you find it? It's Joe Bates comedy and topical comedian, and topical comedians, as in topical jokes, not yeah. tropical. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> people keep having in tropical, <laughs> <laughs> finding me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I am a prop <laughs> uh, Thank you very much, yeah. So enjoy the, enjoy the rest of your evening and day and life, whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to end this, you know. Thank you.